So today I'm going to be doing an analysis on a penny stock called Airnet Technologies. As always, just as a disclaimer, I'm not a financial analyst, I'm not a financial professional, so if you do choose to invest in Airnet Technology, you are investing at your own risk. So firstly, for a brief company overview, Airnet Technology trades under the ticker symbol ANTE, A-N-T-E. It's a Chinese communication company that gives in-flight services such as entertainment and other services to air travelers while they are traveling. So for the basic stock info, it is currently the middle of the day on February 10th, Wednesday, 2021. And right now I see it for $3.61. Its 52 week low was 64 cents and its 52 week high was $4.37. Its one year stock trend is that in the past year, it went up 337%. Its market cap is 77.77 million. Its short interest is currently 3.22% and it doesn't pay any dividends. So in terms of the technical indicators for the 50 and 200 day moving average, it is actually indicating a buy in terms of the Bollinger Bands, it indicates that it's very, very, very high risk. The trading volume is actually 4 million, which it went up by 2 million from Monday to Tuesday. The RSI relative strength index actually indicates that it is extremely overbought. So usually a stock or an asset is considered overbought when the RSI index is above 70% and this one is sitting at 88%. When the RSI indicates that a stock is overbought, it usually means that there's going to be a pullback or reversal soon. And then finally, in the past Past two weeks it's been up by 90.83 percent so now we're going to see what people are saying on social media about anti so right now i am on stock twitch you already know how it goes so it looks like the price has been down by 17 percent, but that's not really what we care about so it seems like people have been talking about it a ton um recently but more recently at the beginning of the year and the sentiment hasn't really changed so it looks like a hundred percent of people on stock twits are actually bullish on it and if we just kind of scroll through, we can see people, what they're saying right now about it. So a lot of people are actually talking about how it has a $34.50 price target. So people are thinking that this $4 penny stock is going to be uh, $34.50. This was a stock I really couldn't find on Reddit. So this is from five months ago. So obviously this isn't really relevant right now the stock market moves so incredibly fast that looking at something from five months ago isn't even useful but this person was saying it might be a runner today so this person was highlighting something that i'm going to talk about next after i go through this social media sentiment but once again not too much chatter about anti on reddit at all so in case you don't know this you can actually just search for a stock by doing a dollar symbol and then the stock ticker symbol so let's see what people are saying yeah i mean it's pretty much the same thing as stock twits I think people talk about stocks a lot more on stock twists because it is just, you know, straight for stocks, but you can kind of see a little bit more sentiment on Twitter to see what people are saying. Not too much about the stock online, uh, aside from what we've seen on stock twits, honestly. So as you guys know, next I usually like to talk about what financial analysts are saying, but once again, since this is a penny stock, there's actually not too much said about it. So I didn't see any ratings from Wall Street or Seeking Alpha, and there were really no articles within the past year or so talking about anti. What I did see were a couple of news articles from January, as well as one that was from Friday that were talking about how anti uh, entered an agreement with Northern Shore as well as uh, Unistar and BitGeek. So with these agreements, I was actually a little confused as to what they were saying, but apparently Airnet basically is going to be issuing 19% of their shares to Northern Shore in exchange for, they said, for the delivery of cryptocurrency or mining cryptocurrency. So this was pretty similar to what they actually were in agreement for with BitGeek as well as Unistar, same things they were you know issuing some percentage of shares for a uh, transfer of being able to use um, i guess their servers uh, to do supercomputing um, as well as cloud computing and then blockchain so i don't usually do this but i just kind of want to show you guys what i actually see when i'm reading articles and since these are just news articles not financial analyst articles i thought it would be easier to read so this is an article from seeking alpha this came out on january 4th so this was the one about unistar and it was basically kind of saying what I said about how they are going to issue some shares, 19% um, of the company's current outstanding shares to Unistar in exchange for the delivery and transfer of 500 computer servers for mining cryptocurrencies. So yeah, and then it has comments from the chairman and CEO of the company. And he's basically saying, you know, what this means for them, what having, uh, these 500 computers for mining cryptocurrency means for him and yeah so this one is similar to this one i saw so this is the most recent one 
Um, this was on February 5th and it's the one about Northern Shore. So almost the exact same thing, like not verbatim, but it says approximately 19% of the companies currently outstanding shares delivery and transfer for Northern company of uh, these computer servers designed for mining cryptocurrencies. So kind of same thing. And then it has what their servers are valued at. So these are 5 million. What was the other one? Let's see what the other one was. 2.53 million. Okay. And then finally for the last one here, uh, okay. We have same thing. This was from September. So this was quite some time ago, but with BitGeek purchase 100% equity interest in BitGeek with insurance of ordinary issuance, excuse me, of ordinary shares. The acquisition of the interests of BitGeek will align the company with swift advancements of blockchain technology and then cloud computing and supercomputing as well. So all of this actually comes from their investor relation website, which is over here. So they have an investor relations website, which has all the news and it has a ton of things on here. It's a pretty plain website, but that's where all these articles get their information from. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I usually see when I'm uh, researching stocks. I just kind of look everywhere for this one. Obviously, like I said, this was more of news, not necessarily looking for what analysts say. So I know this video didn't really go as in depth as I usually like to when I talk about stocks. Uh, and that's just because it's a penny stock. Overall, I think it's actually a good stock to just kind of watch and see how it does. Um, and of course, it's incredibly cheap. So <laughs> you don't really have too much to lose. So overall, I think it's actually a pretty good COVID stock to have. And it's a pretty good way to play into the airline industry without actually having to buy airlines because they build technology for airlines to be able to use and put them into their entertainment system. Systems. And then also, I think how they're getting into cryptocurrency and getting into blockchain, supercomputing, and all that realm of, you know, really what the future seems it's going to be like, I think is actually very exciting. It is something that makes it seem like it's a pretty good stock to invest in. So are you going to be investing in internet technology? Let me know in the comments down below. So that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Adebisi. I do tech and finance videos. If you guys want to check out the last video I just uploaded, which was a stock analysis on Palantir, I went a lot more in depth than I did in this video, but of course the same format. So you can check it out um, after watching this video. Also, if you are completely new to investing, I do have affiliate links for both Robinhood and Webull. So I'll have links to those down below where you can get free stocks, um, two free stocks on Webull, and then one free stock on Robinhood if you sign up using my link. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys.